to the channel. If you're new and if you don't want to subscribe, just click on that subscribe button and you can follow my little journey. Alright, today, for the fact that uh, it's been raining, golf's off, we've come down to Bolton's ground and it's Comic Con. So, we're going to have a quick look at what we can do. You can see behind me. Bolton Wanderers football ground. Yeah, been here a few times. So let's go and see what we can see and hopefully enjoy the video. Sam Bolton. I'll put some information down below for you. Check his channel out. And uh, see how good he is. I haven't looked at his yet, but we will do. We'll have a look, we'll subscribe to him. Uh, so we're going to go for a walk around and see if we can see anything that we've missed. So keep watching. If you're wondering where we are, they've just joined us. We're at Bolton Wanderers Football Club in the Premier Suite. Bolton Comic Con and it is very very busy stay tuned and uh, we'll have a walk out hey guys we found a stormtrooper <laughs> how are you doing how are you I'm fine thank good, you good good we'll leave the stormtrooper for your respite we just seen Chewbacca as well look massive yeah. and we found Chewbacca <laughs> uh, good old Chewie. So hey guys, I found Darth Vader, the Dark Lord.
So anyway, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our guest for the day, who's going to do the talk, none other than Mr. Richard Brake and Spencer Wally. Come on, give them a big round of applause. Hello, guys, how have we been? Hello. 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 You look awesome, by the way. Look at your cough face, baby. If you stay when you know when you get home, just stay in it. Remember what it is, and stuff. <laughs> this is what I look like, this, this is me. This is not a costume. That man. This is actually me, so uh, this is it. That was you last night, is it? That, yeah. Yeah, that's what me last night. Just, I walked into my bedroom, and the curtains went that, and the window was open, it's gone. It's all right, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not talking about that, shall we? You know, no, so, so anyway, guys, how have you been? What have you been doing? Come on, we know you two are dead, you three, but the rest of you, come on. Woohoo! Where are you? You're at a Comic Con, right? Make some noise! Yeah! 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 So, Spendy, what have you been up to uh, as of late? Lately, with me, characters. Um, I've had Doctor Who. Do you have any Doctor Who fans in the Did you see. Um, the Drex, about three or four weeks ago. It's a bit of my idea in there. You were in Drex Hall, I think you were right, right? Yeah. I got a film called Devil Out coming out the end of the year. Last year I had some good stuff out, uh, Men in Black 4. Fast and Furious, not for sure. Some, uh, some video games, stuff like that. So it's been good. Been doing some comic cons all over the world, meet you guys. This is awesome to see all your great costumes. Can't wait for all your great questions you can ask us this morning. And uh, Richard, so to you, what have you been up to as of late? Um, what have I been doing? I did uh, a show called Cursed, which will be out on Netflix, which I think a lot of people will enjoy. It's like a King Arthur, uh, a young King Arthur story. I, um, I was in a movie called The uh, Rhythm Section that came out a couple weeks ago. And, um, yeah, loads of different stuff. A lot of little independent films. I always pop up, do something bad, and then die. Usually. Is that what the news is? A bit like Sean Bean, because that's what he usually does, isn't he? He said, comes in and gets killed in nearly every film ever. The ugly Sean Bean, yeah. Oh, that, that, you said that, not me. Have you got anything more like Game of Thrones type? Because I know they're doing a... So Cursed is a lot like Game of Thrones, the show Cursed that I mentioned earlier. Um, and then I did something else too that was similar. You know, I'm, not, I'm not good about it, but it all sort of goes from one job to the next. But the most similar is Cursed, which is very much like a Game of Thrones type show. Because they do some uh, prequel types of either on Game of Thrones. They're doing the prequel to Game of Thrones either. As they are, they're doing, um, from what, I think it's something to do with um, uh, the Targaryens last yeah. night. Or, um, I don't know if they're using any people from the previous series. From what I heard, they were not. You could always get the call back though, couldn't you? No. Alright. So what should we do? Should we open it up to the, uh, to the audience? Is your question answered, yeah? Yeah, give us some questions. Right, anybody got a question? I'll come over to you and I'll give you the mic for you. Can I ask for anybody? Come on, don't be shy. There we go. There we go. Very, very uh, 
strong. The costume is made of iron, so some kind of metal that would make, because I'm so skinny, it would make me bleed down here. So be, by the end of the day, I would just look quite thin um, with the bruises and my bleeds and blood. Uh, and I would sleep like three hours a night because I had to up to do all that again. So physically, that was probably the most challenging. Um, it was horrible. Yeah, I spent a woman to say that your old uh, hardest costume to do was. I mean, I, I was looking at Pitsy the other day, the one in uh, the role with, with Rick Baird, and that's just a phenomenal life. Oh, God, this is that. The one with Rick Baird, you know, the world of Fourth man, yeah. That was a, a really long makeup. The, the test, when Rick Baird did the, the makeup test, was 11 hours on the chair. Right? Obviously, you got him down to like four hours with wardrobe, five hours. But we get in, in the makeup chair. At 1.30 a.m., getting out of the bed. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. We got out of the makeup at like 11 o'clock at night, so I was getting like two or three hours of kick at night. The character had a lot of energy, but as soon as it cut, the energy would go boom, flat straight down, and then you bring it back again. You know, they're, they're very long makeups. Some of the costumes, you know, I haven't got anything bad to say about any of my makeups, any of the costumes. You know, the, the, you go through it, you know, the, the costumes are ridiculous. They look amazing because the majority of our costumes are very real. That means it's saying that some of the, the armoury, you know, you fall on one of them things, you're going to get a tail, you know? And they do look for, for real, you know? Uh, brilliant, really, really good makeups and lots of makeups. Rathma Tyson did a six hour makeup. They shaved my head. Uh, glued the, the horns to the head. I was one of the, uh, one of the titans of the four of the titans to give us the CGI. Um, and then there was quite funny actually, the only way you could get these horns off was de deactivating the glue. Right? You can't just pull them off, you will pull your skin off. You know? And I'm filming, I don't, have you seen Rathma the Titans? Anybody? Right. You know the scene when it goes into the uh, uh, when it's fighting with the Minotaur, yeah, in the, in, in, the, in the tunnels and stuff. I was saying to Sam, I said, listen Sam, when you grab my horns, if you move, move them an inch, you're going to hurt the neck. If you move two inches, you're probably breaking my neck. So, when I get to the character, I really become the character. So, the Minotaur was real for him. So, when I'm coming at him, he grabbed the horn, twist me, to throw myself off. So we have to have a word there, because the, the costumes are that real, but when you give them spirit presence as well, they're very, very real. So uh, you get interested in things like that.